Good evening once again. I'm Ashley Rowe. Tonight, a Springville man is behind bars and the family of another man is grieving. 43-year-old Patrick Flynn was found lifeless in the road Monday with apparent head injuries. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller takes us to Springville. He goes to the defendant's house and he allegedly throws a rock through a window. That's what prosecutors say started a fight between two friends that left one Springville man dead. Defendant's father owes him money. Police say it was around 2.30 Monday morning when 22-year-old Tyler Lux Rarer heard the commotion and came outside his home on Greenwood Place in Springville. It was there, D.A. Flynn says, he got into a fight with 43-year-old Patrick Flynn. The fight moved here to the parking lot of Springville High School. They then walked toward uh, the uh, defendant's house. But then they got into a second altercation. And it was during this second confrontation that the defendant really beat him up pretty good. And then a third. Police say it was after that fight Flynn was no longer able to get up and was left there by Tyler, who prosecutors say went back into the house. It wasn't until Tyler's girlfriend arrived seeing a man laying in the road when police say they were called. Flynn was pronounced dead at ECMC later that morning. Hardest working guy I've been with in a lot of years. Robert Walters says he has known Flynn for more than 25 years. He worked with him on contracting and painting jobs and said the pair would often travel the country together. We always work together well and I know he had two uh, young daughters. It's just you know kind of a shame because he was so talented. In fact earlier this year Flynn did some painting work for WKBW in our building where this picture was taken. Always a, a lot of fun. You know there's, there's no uh, altercations, no problems. Tyler is facing manslaughter charges. The biggest message from DA Flynn. In high school and in college age you know we do stupid things, we drink, we get in fights, and, you know, this is the potential consequence. Tyler Rarara has another felony hearing next week. He is being held tonight without bail. If convicted on the charges, he faces up to 25 years in prison. Reporting in Springville, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.